What's going on guys? I'm back with another Borderlands 2 tutorial today, and this one is going to be how to solo Terramorphous without the DLCs. I'm going to be covering how to do this both with and without the level cap increase. And I'm doing this with the Siren as that is what the original request asked for, but this should work with any class, you just have to play around with your skill tree a bit to find the one that works for you. So as usual I'm going to get to my recommended equipment and the first thing that I recommend is a fire fibber with the second barrel and the fibber can spawn with three different barrels and the way you'll know that you got the second barrel is it will show a five digit number for the damage value and at level 50 and a six digit number for the damage value at level 61 and you can get this from the quest a real boy human. The next thing that I recommend is the Ruby, which you can get from Rackaholics Anonymous, and you have to side with Moxie at the end of the quest. The next thing that I recommend is the Bee, which you can get from Hunter Hellquist. And the next thing that I recommend is the Legendary Siren class mod, or if you're playing as a different character, their respective Legendary class mod, which you can get from Loot Midgets. The next thing that I recommend is a Slag Bouncing Betty, which you can get from Chests or enemies or anything like that. And the last thing that I recommend is a fire relic which you can also get from chests or enemies. This is a skill tree I use to do this for the level 50 version and I am also going to show you the version I used for level 61. And this is a skill tree I used to do this at level 61. I'm back with the actual gameplay part of this. And to start off, you're gonna wanna summon Terramorphous and then throw about five of your Slag Bouncing Betties at the hole where he spawns. And you're gonna see, you after you hit the horn, you're gonna wanna run over to this little rock and stand there. And from there, that's where you're gonna throw your Bouncing Betties. And then after that, you're just gonna shoot the ground with the Fibber because the Fibber with the second barrel shoots out a single bullet I believe, or two single bullets if you have the redundant prefix, and they split into, it's either eight or nine bullets after they ricochet off the ground, so you have to shoot the ground and ricochet the shots into Terramorphous. So if Terramorphous hits you, you're going to want to switch to the ruby and then phase lock him and shoot him to get yourself back to full health. And you're going to want to make your way over to the glitch rock where most of his attacks can't hit you. So as usual, you're going to want to take out his tentacles when they come up. And even if the bee isn't fully charged, you can still take out his tentacles fairly easily with the fibber. It does quite a bit of damage to them. And you have to sort of play a bit more of an aggressive role with the fibber because of the fact that all its shots ricochet and it's not really easy to make the shots ricochet and hit Terramorphous from the rock. So you're probably going to have to come out from time to time just to give yourself a better shot at him. But as long as you repeat this process, you should be fine. So when Terramorphous goes back underground, you can run up and throw more of your Slag Bouncing Betties at him to get an extra bit of Slag damage in. And you also have to come out from the area I was from time to time to get more ammo, because if you don't, you won't have enough ammo to make it all the way through the fight. 
And you also have to be really careful with his beam tentacles as they are his most dangerous tentacles to you, so make sure to take them out as soon as possible. So when he enters his first fire phase here, there's not really much you can do to him, so you might just want to sort of sit back here by the rock because he won't have any tentacles during this first fire phase, and if he comes up close like this, then all you have to do is jump up here and he won't be able to hit you and you can keep forcing him to come back up here if you go to the edge of the rock. He will keep coming up as long as you keep doing that until his fire phase ends. And then when he returns back to normal, then you can continue to use the Fibber to do massive damage. So when his Master Tentacles come up, you are going to want to head back by the Glitch Rod, just to make sure that his Master Tentacles can't hit you. And he will actually sit in a position that will allow you to shoot him with the Fibber. Just got to shoot that little area of ground in front of him, and... You should be able to kill him quick enough, and if he does make it into his second fire phase, you're just going to want to use the ruby to keep yourself alive until he exits it. And you should be able to kill him by the time he goes into his black hole phase. Anyway, that's all for this video. If you have a suggestion or a request for a video, leave it in the comments, and I'll see you guys next video.